Hi guys, welcome to Colossus Mathematics class. In today's class, I want to discuss about function of a linear function of x using the integral formula. So in this particular video, I'll be making reference to some of my video which was chain rule. So because we'll be using some of like our chain rule principle in differentiation, we are going to be applying it to this particular expression we have on the board all right so don't forget to subscribe like and share this video all right so let's see the first example it says um integral 3x plus 5 all raised to power t dx now the way you do this is very simple the way you do it is very simple so the first thing you do is write everything here back so 3x plus 5 you know, in integration, we add 1 to the power. So add 1 to this power. Over, drop this power here. So this 4. Then differentiate the bracket. If you differentiate this bracket, what will you get? 3 plus C. That means your answer is what? 3x plus 5. All raised to the power 4. All over what? 12 plus C. Because 4 times 3 is 12. So do you get the answer now? So it is similar to a question. Let's say I have a question like, 4x plus 5 or let's say 6x plus 5 raised to the power 4 now this one become write everything here 6x plus 5 add 1 to the power 5 drop this 5 this power drop it multiply by differentiate this bracket 6 and that give them plus c and that give us what 6x plus 5 raised to the power what? 5 plus c all over all. 5 times 6 is what? 30. So that is the way you do that kind of question. So to the example 2, to the second example, it is also very simple. So don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video. I'm talking about function of linear function. All right, the second one, we have integral cos 9x dx. Now this is also very simple. Now, the first thing you do is integrate your course. If you integrate your course, you will get sine. So write your 9x back over differentiate your 9x, what will you get? 9 plus c. So that's your answer. So it is similar to a question like, let's say we have integral sine, let's say integral sine 5x squared. Now, that would be what? Integrate your sine. If you integrate sine, it will be what? Minus cos. Differentiate 5x, I mean, write your 5x square back. 5x square, then differentiate your 5x square. If you differentiate 5x square, you have what? 10x. So that will be the answer. So you can go ahead and try some questions on it also. All right, to the last example we have today, <coughs> to the last example we have, we have integral, open bracket, exponential minus x squared plus 2 dx now this is what you do you differentiate this separately you differentiate this i mean integrate rather all right so what do you do write this back exponential minus x squared all over differentiate your x squared minus x squared if you differentiate minus x squared you will have what minus 2x plus integrate your 2 if you integrate 2 you will have what 2x plus c that means your answer now become this minus will go up and become minus exponential minus x squared over 2x plus 2x plus c. So this will be the final answer for this question. So it is similar to, let's say we have a question like integral exponential x cubed, but let's say integral exponential 3x squared plus 5x. So what do you do here? Write this back, integral, don't forget the x. So that gives us exponential 3x squared over differentiate exponential 3x squared to give us 6x plus differentiate 5x, it will give us 5x squared over 2 plus what c. So this will be the final answer for this question. So don't forget to subscribe to this channel, like, and always share this video. Thank you.